Well, well, well. That was something to say the least if you're uh if you're a usa fan at all that was uh, that was scary for a second there uh team usa 95 serbia 91 man it did not look good there for a minute it did there uh what were they down like 13 going into the fourth quarter or something like that like look we could spend all the time in the world breaking down all this game i do want to tell a quick story so basically i was watching it i was at like my office today working with some of like my people and everything uh, this was actually for my company or whatever and uh, we had the game on or whatever up in the big projector and i had to leave with six minutes left because i had to go do a stupid interview and the interview didn't even go well like it was it was just not a good interview so it was a waste of my time so i had to rewatch the last like six minutes of it um everybody told me team usa came back and won i kind of had a feeling they were going to regardless it just i don't know why it didn't feel like uh serbia was going to be able to put it away at the beginning of that fourth quarter I, I don't know just kind of an inkling i had i could tell they weren't completely locked in when um which one's 23 i can't even remember which one that is took that like trailing three or whatever and i was like oh see they don't have the right mindset right now like they gotta they got a slow pace can't let team usa pick up any pace you gotta keep them in the half court but Regardless, what did we say was going to have to be the key to being this team? It's shooting, right? It was going to have to be shooting because Team USA, like, I've, I've kind of criticized this team a little bit for the sense that, like, look, this team's elite, right? Like, it's stupid stacked. But they don't really have a lot of, like, shot creators on the team, like, at the end of the day. Like, they, they really don't. Like, just pure bucket getters. If I need to elaborate that on the comments at all, like, please um, just ask. Because I understand that a lot of these dudes put up, like, 20 points in the NBA, but there's kind of a difference. So you you guys just let me know if you if you don't understand what I'm saying with that. But um, I, I, I thought this game was interesting, to say the least, because I think this points out a couple of things to us. Um, one, Jason Tatum and Tyrese Halliburton, you you guys are kind of the odd men out on this team. I think that's kind of obvious. Jason Tatum's just kind of struggled throughout this like Olympic play, like the style just hasn't really suited him, which is kind of interesting, actually, because I kind of felt like it would have given his like NBA play style. But neither here nor there um let's talk about serbia like Jokic is awesome right obviously the 0 for 6 from 3 is rough you'd like to think that hits one of those and all of a sudden it's a much different game right but i mean that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes sometimes you miss shots right there's gonna be other games you go for six for six so i totally get it but man he was doing a lot of everything out there bogdanovich obviously is a big one um i i feel like misic should just be on the court more i i don't know I, i'm not just saying that because he's like an actual nba player but like I don't know it just feels like the team operates better with him so i don't know but hey congrats to serbia man like they they gave they they gave a hell of a match in that one um can we talk about the usa's like rotation for just like a second um like Embiid had a very good game and all um he definitely had some silly moments as he keeps having him he's consistently leading the team in turnovers at this point and it's usually very silly ones but can we stop doing this kind of like five in like five out type thing and i know it wasn't exactly that especially at the end of the game kerr was like oh shit let me put like just anthony Edwards in right now or something like that but like I don't know it just feels a little bit cute at times like they're like yeah we're team USA let's get everybody out on the court here like this is this five this is this five I don't know like can I is it so hard to ask that we just get like Curry like okay let's pick our five right I want to say Curry first right obviously 36 points we could talk about him all day dude was electric he's really the only reason we won this game I don't want to say the only reason but y'all know what I'm saying um Curry he's he's at the one who do I want at the two Ant probably ant if anything else for the defense um booker can play great defense as well but i'm, I'm probably gonna go ant because he can also probably create a little bit more than than booker can uh let's give it to braun obviously let's give it to kd obviously and then probably davis i'm gonna go with like i, I think we gotta go davis I, I don't know i don't think Embiid's like play style like fits like the rest of the team in like crunch time and everything like that and sometimes his lack of mobility gets to you i'm glad he got some moral victories against Jokic at least a couple times because before Jokic made him look really really silly uh i got some actual like little individual wins and stops in this one so good for him at the end of the day um team usa they go on to play france um do what what do, what do we think about france right um because look I, I just don't have much else to say in this one like it, it just felt like serbia had a better game plan. Team USA doesn't really have much of a game plan out there. They kind of just roll people out there and see what the hell happens. Uh, like, they have, like, certain sets that they run with, like, one team versus another, but it's not anything, like, all that complicated. Um, Serbia Serbia had a chance because they could shoot so well, right? Like, what are what are we going to get out of France is my question. I don't, I don't know. That French game against Germany, though, was a lot of fun, so that was a good one to watch. But, um, obviously, Wemby, it's going to be interesting to see him go up against these guys. They're going to be extremely motivated. Um, you want wonder if they go with Gobert and go double bigs. I think that's probably hard considering like how much Team USA likes to move around and stuff like that. Um, 
but I don't know. I'll be very curious to see what they do at the end of the day, but this was a fun game. It's a reminder that the rest of the world's catching up, y'all, in basketball. Anything can happen at any time, but man, Team USA shooting 50% from three is crazy. It felt like Serbia was hitting every single three, and maybe that's just because like some guys were like really cooking, but honestly, when you look back at the stats, like it felt like a lot crazier than that in all honesty, so I don't know. I don't know, but I'm still on team let Serbia and Slovenia come back together as Yugoslavia and just kind of like go to town, but that's just me. Um, this was this was a fun one, though, y'all. This was a fun one. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I was low-key rooting for Serbia at one point just because like I, I don't want it to be the this idea that like USA should just run through everyone, and like in all realisticness, they should, but basketball Basketball is just such a more complicated game than that, and people are so much better everywhere else in the world now. So anything can happen on any given night. People can get hot. You can have good chemistry with people, and like good basketball should prevail at the end of the day. And I was kind of rooting for that, but you know, is what it is. So I've got a couple questions for you guys. Like thoughts on Embiid at this point. Like, what do we think about Tatum and like Halliburton and stuff? Tatum, obviously, especially I think Halliburton. We're all pretty clear that like he's a phenomenal player and everything, but he's probably the last guy on the team type vibe, right? Um, I'm curious to hear what you guys thought of like Team Serbia in general. What do we kind of think of like the coaching style for Team USA? And then finally, like next time, can we just bring the, the damn like tryout camp back? One, this team needs more practice together and everything. Like we don't need them warming up against a select team. Bring 40 NBA dudes. Let them try out. Like I, I don't, I don't want to do this whole like these are the 12 guys on the team let's just go no come bring the ass to camp make them try out like everybody else and you know get in the right attitude so i don't know hopefully this is a good wake-up call i wouldn't be surprised if they kind of just spank france but who knows that's the thing with basketball anything can happen but hey just want to get this out to you guys pretty quickly i got a lot of other work to do tonight but i'm excited the um what, what am i trying to say the season preview series starting up pretty soon i'm very excited about that i've got those videos pre-recorded and ready to go for y'all but hey Thanks so much as always for watching, and we'll talk to y'all later. Bye.